Of the 7 billion people living on our planet, 2 billion are Christian and 2.1 billion are Muslim. Two different religions with two very different points of view. Fatima Divanbegi learned the truth about each of these religions in her search for a genuine relationship with God. On the inside, I felt like the, there was a huge rock hanging in my heart. I could feel it. I could even tell you what it looked like. I mean, what the size of it was, what it looked like. It, it was real and it was painful. It was like something that would draw me down and wouldn't let me, you know, live. There was no hope in it. Uh, there was no hope for the future. Fatima was raised in Iran as a Muslim. Being a Muslim is not by choice. It's by heredity. So if your parents were Muslims and you're born in that family, you're automatically a Muslim. But Fatima resisted her parents' Muslim faith. At a very young age, I started questioning existence, questioning whether, whether there was a God or not. I would be like spending hours and hours and hours thinking about what would God look like? What would he, you know, where would he be? But traditionally in Islamic culture, you don't ask these questions. They're tabooed. You don't, if you start asking questions like these, they will call you faithless. Growing up, the God of the Quran was the only God that Fatima ever knew. He's not a personal God. He's distant and he's a creator. Nobody knows who he is. Nobody knows his nature. Uh, nobody knows his plans. Um, you just know that he cares about morality. And, um, you know, in order to go to heaven, you must do good works. So it's through your good works. As a teenager, Fatima looked for answers in fortune telling and by reading coffee grounds. I did that for a few years. Like I said, I was still searching for God. Um, that practice did not um, lead me to, to know God. But still I searched, I had no choice. Something in me would not rest. And uh, finally I came to a conclusion. I said, God, you're either so complicated that I could never know you, or you're just right in front of my eyes and I can't see you. And so I remember like every day I would cry and cry and ask God to show me himself. Now look at the sun, are you the sun? Is that, you know, is that how you reveal yourself? You know, where am I supposed to look? Her cry was answered when Fatima says that Jesus appeared to her in a dream. I dreamt that Jesus and I were walking in a rose garden. It's gonna make me cry. <laughs> and. Um, we were walking and in the dream, I'm thinking he's a prophet. He's walking and I'm just following. And he said, do you want to come with me? And I said, yes. And I said, uh, and he said, then follow me. And I said, hmm, my mind thinking, how would you follow a person who's not even, I mean, he's a prophet a long time ago. How would you follow a person and not his instructions? You know, how would you follow? So that was kind of puzzling. Why would he ask me that? Night after night, Fatima had dreams about Jesus, God, and churches. Old churches, new churches, modern churches, you know. And I, I dreamt that, you know, my mom and my home and our family are, you know, holding hands and going to the church. Fatima moved to the United States when she was 20. She met a friend from work who told her about Jesus. It was after he accepted the Lord Jesus that he, um, he found joy and peace. And those words just popped I said, wow, this is good. And he said, every time he receives it, every time they pray for him, he is filled with joy and peace. I said, oh, I want that. I want the joy and peace, you know? So Fatima went to a Christian church and a woman there asked her, do you believe Jesus Christ is God? And I said, did he say that? Did he say that, that he was God? And she said, uh, yes, he says that. I said, sure, I believe he's good. Trust me, I'll find out if he's not. <laughs> I think of, you know, I'll just find out, you know, things aren't true. But I'm willing to give Jesus a try, like definitely. And he said, she said, do you want to pray, salvation prayer? Absolutely. So it was very, because of my, I think God had softened me up to the point that, you know, um, I was soft toward, toward God and I wasn't, you know, resistant. That night, after years of searching, Fatima prayed to become a Christian. Things just uh, started changing. That heavy, heavy heart, that, that stone 
that I could, you know, it was sharp even. I could feel how sharp and painful it was. That was gone. It was completely gone. That night, the Lord just, it just like he took his hand in my heart and, and took that rock out permanently. The one significant thing that God did for me, that Christ did, was that he put hope in my heart, a permanent hope. And as I got to know the Lord more, you know, of course, the Lord gave me many more dreams just to show that the scriptures were true and everything I was reading, God was backing them up. Today, Fatima's mother, brother, and two sisters are all Christians. Fatima is a real estate broker and studying to be a psychologist. She's also married and has two sons. Fatima understands Muslims who are curious about Jesus and those who really don't understand who Jesus is. I would say don't say no, just because your parents were Muslims, parents before, you know, your great-grandparents were Muslims, and this is what you're always taught. Um, you need to find God for yourself. He's available. You know, if, he, if Jesus says he's God, then he will prove it. All you have to have is an open heart to allow Jesus to come in, and then you will know for yourself if he's God or he's not God.